In this video, what we're going to do is cover how to make custom queue systems similar to this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump in and we're going to place our first ride. Drop this in here and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the entrance about here and the exit a little bit way over here. Now defaultly the queue will load and it'll look something like this, this sort of blue queue with these barriers around the outside. What we want to do is actually take those off. So if we go into the settings and you disable the railings and I, what I tend to do is I just disable it on all of the settings because I tend to prefer them without. And you can also disable the curbs as well because what we're going to do is create custom curbs. So as you can see, we've already got a bit more of a flat queue. Now, what I'd also say is try and look for something a bit plainer. Obviously, you can pick something that more suits your style, but for the style I'm doing with uh, flower beds and stuff like that, I tend to choose the concrete uh, queue path. So place one, hold Y and go to select grid. This will then let us put the grid over the top and enable it to be a right angle path. Now what we're going to do is create a bit of a sort of a long snake here. And we're just going to build this out a little bit. Work all the way down and then we're going to come back over here as if we're connecting to a normal path. And then what we're going to do is we're going to swap to the normal path system. We're going to click here. Go to select grid. Should let us place that over the top. And then we can bring our normal path down here. And just to attach that, we're going to jump back into normal queue. And we can come to here. Because I was using two different whips, you get that little bit of a shape. But you can bring the whip down and connect it nicely like that. So... We've got our sort of right angled snaky path here. And then what we need to do as well is we're just going to put the priority system in. Now this bit can be a little bit fiddly, but we're going to try and keep it as straight as possible so that it aligns. So the in would be down here and we're going to put it around probably around here-ish. And we're just going to hope that this lines up. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the queue style to be a similar sort of queue style as what we've just used, which is here. And we're going to draw this path and it lines up there. So what we've created here is the basis of our queue system. We've got our priority booking and we've got this sort of snake queue in here. And then we've got our normal path that goes to the exit of the ride. So what you want to do for this next bit, this is about the scenery and placing scenery around your cues to give them that more of a tailored feel. What I tend to do is I'll jump into the scenery and I'll use flower beds to start myself off. So we're going to jump in and we're going to get these fairy tale uh, flowers. Now, as you can see, they're very high raised and you could use these like that. But what I like to do is actually change to the advanced move settings, swap to the Y axis and drop these right down just high enough that you still get the soil showing, but they're on top of the path. And then all we're going to do is we're going to bring this to one side and line it up. And we're just going to try and make that. Yeah, that's probably about central. That's a good place for it to be. And we're going to place that. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to click on this one again, come down here to the advanced move and duplicate tab. And then we'll be presented with the advanced move already. Um, it's on the Z axis, so it means we can move it across. And then what I tend to do here is try and make it look like it's just clipping over. You could potentially put it there so it looks like the signs in the soil. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll do that. By doing this, you're going to get a bit of duplication, but because these are scenery groups, you can quite easily go in and if you want to swap out a plant or change the color of a plant so it looks a little less repetitive, you have the ability to go in and do that. So that sort of give you one way you can do it, and that's just using the 
flower beds like that. Now, another way you can do it for these shorter sections is if you go into the create menu, you can use modular planter tops. And as you can see, these give you quite a nice curb themselves with a lot of additional soil. And you're gonna do a very similar trick with these. What you're gonna do is align them roughly where you want them, swap to the advanced move, swap to the Y axis, and you're gonna come down and instead with these ones, you're gonna make sure that the soil disappears underneath your path. And what they'll do then is they'll actually have an auto snap feature so you'll be able to just jump through your path and create them aligned like that. And you can also adjust the grid a bit more so you can position them better. So we can bring this one down here. We can repeat over the top as much as we like to start building out that pattern there. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna keep, keep doing this method. You can build out your custom queue style however you wish. And of course, you have the ability to use the other pieces throughout the create menu. So if you wished, you could bring the trees in, or you could bring some trees down the side of here. And essentially, you'll then have the ability to dress your queue, uh, but keeping it at floor height and allowing the, uh, the visitors just to navigate it based on the scenery that you've put in. So that's kind of how you can dress a queue, uh, but bring it a lot more in line with your park and the, the aesthetics of the area. And once you spend a bit more time practicing that and sort of tailoring it how you wish, you can create something that looks very similar to this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unpause this I'm going to watch our guests just flow in nicely. So as you can see, they avoid the scenery as they're going and they use it as the queue. But you don't need to have those big railings around the outside of your queue for this to work. And I'm sure you'd agree it feels a lot more in keeping with the kind of things you'd expect from the likes of Disneyland. And it gives it, I don't know, a lot more of a, a homely enjoyable feel i hope this tip has helped you out today and i'll catch you in the next video